This is Plant-Based Briefing. Budget vegan B&Bs in various corners of the world from happycow.net. And I'm Marian Erickson, and this is the Curated Content Plant-Based Podcast, where I narrate a variety of articles on plant-based, compassionate, and eco-friendly living with permission in about 10 minutes or less every weekday. And today's article is from a new contributor I have permission to read from. Happy Cow was founded in 1999 as a public service to assist travelers and people everywhere find plant-based or vegan options and healthy food. Today, their online community has grown to include members from around the world who are passionate about the vegan lifestyle as a healthy, compassionate, and environmentally sustainable way of living. They're now more than simply a restaurant and health food store guide. They're an ever-evolving online hub that serves millions worldwide each month. They also have a blog from which I'm going to be reading some posts. So now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. Budget Vegan B&Bs in Various Corners of the World from HappyCow.net 2022 is a glorious year with veganism exploding all around the world, giving way to a new consciousness even when it comes to hospitality and menu writing. Who would have imagined even five years back that there would be so many fully vegan B&Bs around the world? In a previous article, we had shared a list of 10 dreamy boutique vegan hotels that are obviously quite expensive on the price scale. In contrast, we had also listed 10 vegan workaways around the world that are on the opposite end of the scale, basically free of cost accommodation in exchange for volunteer work. Out of a need to cater to various budgets and types of travel, we thought we'd also make you a list of budget vegan B&Bs. For those of you who opt for the mid-range with prices between 7 and 47 euros, this list might be more your cup of tea. Veg Hotel in Salzburg, Australia. Approximately 43 euros a night for a couple includes breakfast. You know the tides are turning when you start to see entire chains of budget vegan B&Bs popping up. Veg Hotel is one of the popular ones across Europe. Of all the locations, we found the Salzburg Veg Hotel to have the lowest rates, The Scotland Veg Hotel is also in a similar price range, but keep in mind that stays there are limited to three days. There are other veg hotels in the Netherlands, with multiple locations, Italy, France, and Spain. Bean Me Up in Goa, India. Approximately 26 euros a night for one, but can accommodate two, making it 13 per person. Community Review, quote, Bean Me Up was our home for just over two weeks during Christmas and New Year. They have B&B guest rooms on site. Their huge menu covers all types of cuisines, and this was the first vegan restaurant we found in India that served beer, wine, and cocktails, which helped with our Christmas celebrations. The food is outstanding, and the outdoor setting is beautiful, friendly, and attentive service, too. Unquote. Bean Me Up is also featured on our list of 10 must-try vegan pancakes in the world, linked here. AMPM in Bruges, Belgium. Fully vegan, dog-friendly, not super cheap, but 95 euros per night for a couple includes breakfast. A beautifully renovated all-vegan B&B in a mansion that was built in 1905. This spot is just a stone's throw from the main market square and the train station, so you can easily explore the charming city of Bruges by foot. And the best part? It's dog-friendly. Ecosia Eco Hostel in Coron, Palawan, Philippines, prices starting from 12 euros for a bed in a mixed dorm. Community review, quote, the best food I had in the Philippines, ideal for budget backpackers or if you're passing on the way to Cabo Beach. It is very basic accommodation and the seating is on the floor, so don't expect luxury, but it is well worth a visit. They also have two pigs and other animals to play with. If you decide to stay at the hostel, they can help arrange all tours and explain that you're vegan to the tour company, unquote. The Farrier's Vegan Bed and Breakfast in Cuclia, Cyprus, approximately 25 euros per person per night. Here's an all-vegan B&B in a village not far from Paphos Airport. The Farrier's is also home to a number of rescued cats. The owners are on site 24-7, so it really has the feel of a homestay. According to a review, quote, The food is especially good. Barry is a passionate cook and is happy to share cooking tips. Cats and one dog live on the property, which adds to its charm, unquote. Fox Hall, Kendall, England, 41 euros per night per person. Community review, quote, Truly wonderful place to stay. I stayed here for one night with a friend last week, and it was absolutely wonderful. Would highly recommend. Gorgeous rooms with excellent facilities and ensuite bathrooms. Plus, the breakfast was incredible. A really lovely, peaceful setting and excellent value for the money. 
I'll definitely come back for a longer stay if I can in the future, unquote. Oh, and just so you know, EA Hotel is another budget vegan B&B in Blackpool, nearby Kendall. At EA, you pay 25 euros a night in a mixed dorm. The Animal Hostel in Bangalore, India. 7 euros per night in a dorm, and you have the option to pay with Bitcoin Cash. Bee Animal is the first fully vegan budget backpacker hostel in India, with the recently opened in-house cafe The Happiness Cafe, selling their signature pudu cakes and regular workshops and events related to veganism. Bee Animal has a lively buzz and a warm atmosphere for any traveler passing by Bangalore. Kunuru Asobu, Oboke, Japan. 77 euros including breakfast, dinner, pickups and drops, and the hot spring bathing fee. Community Review, quote, Overlooking the Ia River Gorge, this friendly eco-guesthouse has comfortable accommodations, Japanese-style tatami rooms with futons, and delicious food. Vegan dinner and breakfast are included in the price, as well as daily pickup and drop-off service at the local train station, and a daily visit to an onsen at a nearby spa hotel. The generous macrobiotic-style meals feature local ingredients such as buckwheat, radish, and delicately flavored green tea from neighboring fields. The host, Nori, and many of the staff speak English. All are super friendly. The views are spectacular, and there are scenic and historic spots to visit for day trips using a convenient day pass on a local bus, unquote. Casa El Delfin, Trinidad, Cuba. 23 euros per room per night. Dorms coming soon. This family-run vegan hostel in the heart of Trinidad is the first of its kind in Cuba. According to reviews, quote, The casa is wonderful, the whole family is amazing, and the food is heavenly. The meals are very nutritious, well-balanced, prepared with special care for each single ingredient. The menu is very extensive, and the food is delicious. They definitely serve the best vegan breakfast in Cuba with fresh fruit, cakes, 25 soups, pizzas, burgers, gorgeous fritas, and bread, unquote. Before wrapping up the list, let's squeeze in some more vegan stays that fall in the same range. All are linked below. Honey House Stables in Melo, Portugal. Vegan Surf Camp in Moyet, France. Florentine Backpackers Hostel in Tel Aviv, Israel. Simabos Backpackers Hostel in Mindelo, Cape Verde. Vervet Monkey Foundation in Zanin, South Africa. Well Gadera Homestay and Cookery in Weligama, Sri Lanka. But unfortunately, as Sri Lanka is currently in a crisis, the homestay is temporarily closed. This list barely scratches the surface. Explore hundreds more budget vegan B&Bs or vegan-friendly and vegetarian stays on the Happy Cow site, where you can search by country. You just listened to Budget Vegan B&Bs in Various Corners of the World from happycow.net. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson. And as always, I put a link to the original post in the show notes, And from there, you can find more details and links to all of these amazing places. And I have to apologize, I'm sure I butchered some of these names. I searched everything and tried to find a pronunciation, but I couldn't find some for everything. And I'm sure I messed some up, so please forgive me for that. But please share this episode with anyone who might benefit, and thanks for listening.